Hello and welcome to Elite Dangerous. So I've kind of got my act together a little bit in this game. I um, even have a little bit of money. Um, nowhere near enough to um, afford anything like a new ship. Uh, but I've got more than I started with, which is brilliant. And that's mainly because I've been doing these little missions. Uh, and I'm going to bring you along on one Touchdown, right now. Securing ship. Good to have you, Commander. Let's um, clear the landing pad. You are go for departure. Try and spin myself so I'm kind of flush with that. So yeah, um, I'll show you the mission once I get out of um, space station because I kind of had a bit of an incident. As I was coming in, um, but yeah, they said about me trying to land them better. Brilliant. So now we're outside, we can uh, speed up a little bit. And um, start heading towards our destination. Uh, I'll Final destination. Uh, still mass locks. So that's because I'm so close to uh lost going back. No. Uh, it's just um, security forces. Cool. Right, so um Let's start um, jumping. But our um, transaction, our mission, is to transfer some strategic data. Uh, I need to deliver data to Norden Squeud landing in the. Alright, jumping, never mind. Have to pay attention while we do that, apparently. Um, oh wow, okay, this engages the computer. That's pretty close to the sun. Don't want to get too close or else we catch on fire. Discovered one astronomical object. Cool. Right, so let's line up our next one. And go back to looking at our this. Um, they will be stored on your computer and will not require any cargo space. It makes sense. I will receive my reward upon delivery and um, being rewarded. 15,200 credits as well as uh, some material rewards so if we open that up on the galaxy map you can actually kind of see um, is that where we started? I can't remember where we started the map's a bit of a mess to look at but we're currently at somewhere. Oh, we must have started at Porty. We're now at Alaria. And our next jump will actually be the sector we need to be in. So, um... Yay for that. Yeah, so, um... This game's pretty fun. Once you um, figure out what you need to do, yeah, it's, it's quite fun. I think what makes it quite fun is that it is quite simmy. You know, you have to what? Stop flying to the sun. Discovered another astronomical object. Brilliant. Oh no, too close to the sun. Panic. Let's try and... Yeah. Whoops. 
Like, that's a bit of a problem I've encountered. But that's more because I still need to not suck at this. Oh. Well, while I'm here, are there any other contacts? No. In that case, carry on. To Nag Nagalbia. It's taken up a fair bit of my fuel, this. So, um, hopefully. Oh no, it's going too hot. Oh, that is a bit of a pain. I need to like set up some sort of like coolant. Maybe that's something I need to invest in when I get some more significant. Well, I'm just gonna straight up out of the way. Okay, let's have a look for our contacts. No contacts in the way. Checkpoint. This is our conflict zone. Right, let's check up. No. I'm not too sure if the scanner actually uh, helps much. Ten new astronomical objects, though. Uh, defense system, wait. Right, navigation, got a ton of unexplored. But the most important one is the Norskin Cold. Landing, which is the way around here. Um, what you can do is, I was about to point at the DV, <laughs> which would not have been useful. Uh, if you look at the large map in the middle, if I uh, engage the head tilting thing, if you look at the large gauge in the map, uh, on the right you have the ship over there and to the left you have your target but in between the map and like a model of the target uh, you have that little kind of um, kind of looks a bit like a radar uh, the bright blue dot is your target and the crosshair is basically where you're landing so now I'm like aiming straight towards where I want to be going more or less um, it's pretty useful probably want to slow down a little bit because um, Going back to the map, you got your you got your speed sort of slightly over there. Um, the blue bar on the side is sort of like a recommended speed. Um, yeah, so you if you keep your speed, your target speed somewhere in there, you should make pretty good time. Which is um, it's quite handy, especially considering the closer you get to an object, the, the more your um, they adjust your max speed for you. So even without adjusting my target speed, it's see we're we're going considerably slower without really adjusting it, which is kind of handy. Um, over on the far left, you've got the your um, speed and distance, so you can disengage like the super cruise. So I'm now at a safe distance, a good speed, so I can just. I can just drop right off. We're still going pretty quick. It should take us less than a minute to get there at this speed. Uh, can go a little bit quicker. And what it might be worth doing is um, making sure I request some docking. And uh, they're happy with that. Ooh. So I want to slow right down now because I can see roughly where I need to be docking. It's there. Brilliant. So it's pretty much kind of as I'm approaching as well. That's really cool. Uh, 
Right. Now, now here comes the bit where I have to really focus and mess up anyway. So, um, cool. Let's not get angry about how badly I do at this. Although saying that, this is where I absolutely smash this landing. Let's try and flatten myself out. Oh, I don't want to go in reverse. I don't want to go down a little bit. Oh, landing gear. Huh? Oh, is this not my uh, spot? Huh. It was giving me a warning for loitering. That's not okay. Right, let's spin around and try again. And hopefully this time. Landing gear get the landing gear up for a second. Get a bit of space before we start spinning back around. Oh wow, okay. Is that my landing spot? Okay, wow, okay. That's a bit more tricky. But I've kind of... Uh Ooh, right. Right, let's uh, edge forward just a little bit. Going down. Okay. Shout your computer. Brilliant. And if I just come straight down, I've actually done a. Ooh, okay. Just need to edge myself forward. Just a brilliant. That was the single best landing I have ever done. Well done, me. And after a slight interruption, um, we can now um, enter the hangar. Oh, I'm actually quite pleased with that um, landing. Single best landing I've done. Apart from going to the wrong landing spot first time around. Um, but I don't think that really counts, to be honest. Uh, Starport services is where we need to go now. Oh, the market's on lockdown. Um, no idea why that might be. Uh, the mission board. Strategic data transfer. I'm going to claim that reward. Oh, 36 grand now. You performed superbly, Commander. With that information in the right place, our chances of winning this war may have improved. Didn't realise I was making um, that big a deal. Am I influencing Yaka Boogie? That's a silly name. Uh, cons with the conservatives of growth, could lead to an atomic boon, etc. Brilliant. And um, let's have a look at Universal Cartographics. The cool thing is, is with the um, like uh, different discoveries and stuff, um, you can basically sell on your discoveries. So, for example, Kinney, I've got an actual bucket of uh, information about that, or some, or at least some really valuable. But it needs to be more than twenty light years from that system for it to be worth anything. Uh, I'm currently 17 light years away from it. So I'm not that far away. Uh, what about this one? 9 light years. So I'm I'm not that far. Uh, which is pretty cool. So what I might do is look at the mission board. See what I can get. Uh, manager. What she got for me? Uh, okay. So some uh, people have been causing trouble in this sector. Ah, 
No missions. No, no, nothing available. Ah, oh, sad times. Okay. Um. Oh, hold on. No, wrong one. We don't want to look at my uh, crazy handsome face. Oh, well, oh, there it is. Is if you do. <laughs> uh, I did want to fuel. Um, so there's no missions. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a waste of us being here. Um, so let's have a quick look at our navigation. Uh, we could kind of maybe check out some of these unexplored points, but not sure if there's much point. I want to go to the galaxy map. No, oh, there it is. So I'm here. Uh, Kini is somewhere over here. Yakabunga, Chaminda. It's somewhere over here. So if I kind of keep heading over here, oh, I can't plan a route to there. No. No. Why can't I? Why can't I make it? Uh. Uh. Okay. So I can get to Alari. But that's got no one there. Uh, what's this place? Okay, let's just go as far as. Uh, clear route. Right, let's just go there. Cool. Um. Oh, uh, what? Where did I get 500 credit? Fine. Is that for the parking? I'm pretty much penniless. Um. Yes, I might as well launch. Launching is a lot easier. I don't worry about launching. Launching is the easy bit. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead and I'll um, bring you guys back uh, when we find something interesting, hopefully, over in Mabukuvari, I don't know. Crazy name place. But uh, hopefully we'll find another station there. Somewhere with some jobs. Or at least a market. So um yeah, see you shortly. Okay, so on my way to the space station in Mukbarvi, I found a um undetected or unrecognized signal and we're gonna go have a look at that. It's like apparently a convo dispersal pattern um, threat too, um, which may be a problem. I may end up running, screaming, contacts, feel back, novice, wanted. Oh, do we go after him? It's a novice. Maybe not. Let's uh, try and focus on this. I don't want to get my ship blown up. Um, no one wants to have a ship blown up. So let's just uh, edge it a little bit faster. Not quite that fast. Uh, 
Right, we're close enough to disengage. And what's going to be here when we do? Oh, Madison transport. Master level. Vultures, master level. I don't really got that clean. Ah, okay, so it's like an escort. Is that it? Oh, that's kind of cool. But I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to engage in... Okay, maybe I'd be tempted to engage in a bit of piracy. But... Um... We're going to Horizons, weren't we? Uh, at least that's the closest one, so yeah. Let's throw it up. Three, two, one. Two. This is that's my favourite bit of that game. Just the countdown and then go. Yes, slowing down. There we go. Travelling at five times the speed of light, six, seven. That's crazy. I've got an unexplored sun nearby. Um, can I hit it from here? With the 18 objects. Sweet. Um, I just realised this video is a little bit pointless. Um, I mean, you know, it's kind of cool to show you how the job system works and stuff. But um, it's still a little bit hit and miss for me. I'm still kind of like finding things out. It's like I haven't been able to sell any of my discoveries yet. I'm still on like the basic starter ship. But, um, I am enjoying this game, I suppose, and that's the main thing. And um, yeah, we should be um, dropping into Fullerton Horizons pretty soon. We're going slow enough; we just need to get that little bit closer. And um, yeah, here we are. Safe to disengage. This is also quite a nice little animation. Brilliant, let's get a little bit closer because I'd like for you to be, a, I think it's 7.5k before you can request docking properly. Brilliant, so now we're close enough to request docking. Uh, make sure you go to contacts for that. And request docking. Uh, oh, is that the pad up there? I think it might be. Mm. The sounds are pretty good as well. Uh, no fire zone entered. It's fine. Alright, okay, I think I see it's. Mm. All my mass is locked. Spot number two. That's the one. Alright, let's make sure I come in from about the right angle. Slow us up right down now. Okay, not quite right down, but within reason, please. Uh -huh. oh, that's. This is my major problem with the landing. Warning. Landing gear not deployed. Uh, the, sometimes the um, with the throttle, it's quite easy to um, when you're going slow and you're trying to stop landing for it to deployed. kind of overcompensate itself a bit. All right. Okay. I need to.
Ooh, we'll drop out a bit. Yeah, we'll oh, this is a bit more like my uh, usual landings. Just off the floor. Okay. Oh boy. This is one of the reasons I can't I don't drive. That and I live next to one of the, like the biggest train stations then. Country. Bah! Jeez. Right. If I do that, why have I only just thought of that? Yeah, on the all controls, um, you can strafe directly. Um, You know, you just have that eureka moment, and then you realise you've been a massive dickhead all this time for not having that sooner. Yeah, that's that's my uh, current uh, way of feeling now. Wow. Absolute wow. <sighs> Let's see if I can pick up a mission here. Or do anything in here. Ooh. Hopefully I have some I have I, I picked up a bunch of random uh machine plants and stuff um from a crash but um apparently they're not buying any of that, which is kind of a shame. Um I got an outfitters. Can I get my hands on something? Uh, no. No. Uh, never mind. Cool, yeah, so this has been my little, um, another little look at uh, a little bit of uh, Elite Dangerous. Ah, oh, this is the main issue. Am I close enough to sell? No! I'm not far away enough to sell. How far are we from? I bet we're like 19.9 or so. 18 point... Oh. Oh. But yeah, so this is how I've been making my money. Uh, and how I plan to make even more money. Just as soon as I hit that distance. Just as soon as I hit that distance. But yeah. I am enjoying this game. Um, before I do another video, just for the hell of it. And just to show that I'm not a complete idiot and have some kind of understanding for how menus work. Yeah, that first video, not good. But this one, hopefully, much better. Uh, yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.